Buddy Nerdigans. This is the one and only Packer Girl 89 of Nerdigans and today's manga Nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for Hajime no Weibo chapters 1464 through 1467. But before I get into this recap and live reaction, we are at war with YouTube's algorithm and it is slowly but surely killing my channel and in order to defeat this algorithmic beast, we need you to please hit that like, share, and subscribe buttons. And because, of course, this channel, let alone this video, are not sponsored. If you love what we're doing and want to help keep me, my adorable Will Bubba Kitty, you somewhere around here, in this operation literally alive and kicking, so we can keep bringing you more anime and manga content, whether it be news, analysis, or live reactions like this one, feel free to hit up our cash up and PayPal. Links are in the description box below, as well as the link to our Patreon where... Um, we are doing our anime content over there because unlike YouTube, where we constantly have to worry about getting a copyright strike for showing anything on the screen, well, Patreon, we don't have to worry about that. So we can have the anime and manga side by side, as well as have audio, which man has really come in handy for, um, catching many of botched localizations. And the more, um, subscribers and views we get, the more series we'll cover. And man, we got a ton of of anime coming up um, in uh, the stacked fall anime season. And it'd be nice, you know, to have a lot more people watching our content over there. So please go check out our pay, uh, Patreon. The links are in the description box below. So, so the last time we covered Hajime no Ippo, we saw Rosario going Super Saiyan, like evil Super Saiyan. And it was so sick. I'm really looking forward to what's going to happen um, with Mashiba because something we've, I think all of us have been theorizing was this was going to be the fight where we were going to see Mashiba confront his inner monster, the monster he has suppressed for a long time now. So let's get into this chapter, see what's in store for us today. The bad boy's true form. How will Mashiba respond to him forcing a rough fight? And this chapter is titled, Unfucking Forgivable! Yeah! The headbutt and punch come at almost the same time. Dodge it! Hey, when in doubt, headbutt! I swear that is just an anime and manga trope at this point. Oh, Morikawa. Oh my god, this punch. Um, page three. Rosario going in on this punch, the stepping on the foot and going in on the punch. It is beautiful. Oh my god. Mashiba dodging it is great, but god, seeing the punch like this is just... It's like it's coming... You can see it coming out to hit you. It just is sick. Sick. He dodged it. Yosh, what incredible focus. It was like... Um, take some distance, get your, um, ha. I give him, <laughs> you know, it's just like, take some distance, get your rhythm back. We have no idea what he's going to do. Seriously? What a fucking pain in the ass. Oi, hurry up and fucking move your leg. <gasps> do that leg. And also that aura is sick. This is some venom shit that we're seeing here. Ah, oh, what a dull sound. That was definitely a headbutt. Hey, when in doubt, headbutt, but damn. Ippo is able to see this, this aura. It's like some foresight kind of thing. Jesus Christ. I swear to God. Morikawa, if we do not see Ippo in the ring by chapter 1500, I am going to hate life. It was ruled as an accident, but the referee still um, gives uh, Rosario a harsh warning. Hey, that was totally on purpose. Accident, my ass. Take off a point. Take off a point. He's mixing headbutts in with his combos. That's basically undodgeable, asshole. And he keeps tangling. Um, no, he's stepping on his foot. It's foul after foul. Mashima's like, oh, you son of a bitch. You fucking with me, dude. This aura is, is everything. Ah, uh, he's bleeding. Dude, I love Super Saiyan Rosario. It is just everything. Uh, the referee calls for a doctor check. Hey, wait, you can't mean, is this gonna, will this mean? 
Uh, please, your opinion, stepping on his foot, throwing a headbutt, are those, are those really necessary in boxing? Milk toast is always, <laughs> they're not necessary for boxing, they're necessary for winning. I love this line. Milk toast is always, they're not necessary for boxing, they're necessary for winning. This line is great. The doctor is examining the wound. Will he let the fight continue? Well, it's not that deep, um, but it is bleeding a lot. Uh, Challenger heads back to the center ring without uh, waiting for a decision. He sticks his hand out and he's going the champion. He's like, bitch, come on. You want to play dirty? I'll play dirty too. Hmm. That's a good face you got there. Finally, it's fair. Hey, hey. Um, hey, hey, they look like they're go um, they're gonna slow it out regardless. Is the ref okay with this? And the match resumes. Looks like the doctor ruled the injury non-threatening. Will the champion take advantage of the accidental headbutt? And how will the injured challenger make um make do? What? Oh my god! It's a monster! It's a monster! I've been waiting. How many chapters? We at least I've been. We've been waiting how many chapters for this? Finally! 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 He did it to us. Unfucky add title of the chapter. Unfucky forgivable. Did he snap? Go for it, just like you did to me. Beat him until he's just a limp of a lump of bloody meat. You're leaving this ring in pieces. Oh, the monster. But... I wonder if this monster, though, in comparison to, like, say, Ippo, I wonder if the reason why this monster looks like this, especially in terms of, like, a color palette, kind of, from a color point standpoint, is because it doesn't have as much of a stronghold on Mashiba than say like, um, like it did uh, before he started boxing. Let's see. Nissan, ooh, she senses it. See, do your best. See, he, see Mashiba has a lot more control over this monster inside of him than, than Ippo does. Or then, we don't know the situation with Ippo and his monster, to be honest, or yet yeah, anyway. But it seems like Mashiba has, obviously Mashiba has a lot more control of it based on um, the design of it. But anyways. Ooh. Challenge faints and then a light, uh, long right um, cross to the body. God, even after um, everything, he manages to remain calm and stick to plan. All right, let's get to 1465. I really, I really want to see the monster take over uh, Mashiba. I do. I need to see it. Round four and a bloody Mashiba. Um, and this chapter's titled Left Eye. If we don't see the monster take over Mashiba and we see Mashiba, like, uh, take control of it, I think it, it, it's it's a double-edged sword kind of thing, but let's see what happens here. He lands, uh, writes, um, writes high and low from a comfortable distance, like an iron pillar preventing the champion's adva uh, advance. If he bleeds anymore, it might force do a doctor stop. He needs to survive long enough to return to his corner and stop the uh, stop the bleeding. Just 40 seconds left in um, round four. What's going to happen? That's a lot of blood. If he hits the uh, the cut again, that's it, right? Trust in him. He's not going to gonna let him uh, get close. Come on, Mashiba. Super so Dude, I'm not going to lie. Rosario looks like Dio here. He totally looks like, yeah, he's in Super Saiyan mode right now, but man, he looks like Dio. Tell me I'm wrong, comment section. Tell me if I'm, uh, where is it? Tell me if I'm wrong, comment section, that Rosario totally looks like Dio. The ch and God, is he acting like Dio too, now I'm thinking about it. The champion knocks aside the challenger's right and presses in. He made it inside. Dude, he is, he's totally giving Dio. 
in the face in particular. He's aiming uh, because of the blonde hair it, or because of how his hair is, the hairstyle on top of the face. It just is giving Dio. He's aiming for the cut. No shit. I mean, I get it, but still. And I'm talking um, Stardust Crusaders Dio to be specific. Uh, the challenger keep, uh, keeps an eye on Cloud and left guard. He's not getting dragged into a hitting match, but he's pretty obvious. Um, he's ob pretty obviously making distance. Uh, making distance. There must be blood in his eye. Maybe he can't see well at mid range. Maybe, but still, this is rare for him. I mean, this is Mashiba. That guy loves a beatdown. For him to be running away like this, he's been in situations like this before, and each time he won out by forcing a slugfest. This isn't the same as before. His opponent is on a whole different level. If he, um, if he takes half measures like that before he knows it, that that blood will be a river. It'll be a doctor stop. You're right. He's fighting the world champion after all. This is a world title fight. Ooh, that punch looks good. Twenty-five seconds left. Why hang in there? Clinch him. No way. A clinch is way too close quarters. Just run away. Ooh, I love the first POV. Um, I can't see shit on the left. Um, 20 seconds. Where'd he go? Uh-oh. Ooh! Ah! Uh, why he's trapped? Challenger's stuck in the corner. The champion doesn't let up for a second. Blow after blow after blow. Challenger uh, refuses to drop his guard, but there's no way out. 15 seconds left. He's hitting the cut even through the guard. That's blood. I see blood. How much longer? Too long. Baron, don't drop your guard. Crush him just like that, this fucker. This round is almost this fucker. He's cl Now we're seeing the darkness of the monster. We're seeing him lose control. We're seeing Mashiba lose control and the monster creeping in. He's close, isn't he? And his head's down. And an elbow to, an elbow to the back of his neck. That'll make him learn to behave. And there's the gong. Round four is over. Ooh, that was close. Mashiba almost uh, did the unthinkable. Ooh. Good job hanging in there. We'll stop the blood. It's fine. We're definitely going to fix this. You think we're letting a world title match end like this? You came um you came this far. Think of all the training you went through for uh for today. Trust us, we'll let you fight until the very end. Uh just Ooh, he felt the monster! Just now, what did I just feel? Hey, Ashiba? Ooh, the monster! <gasps> We finally got the monster. This is what I've been waiting for. Hopefully you guys have been waiting for too. Ooh. But man, that monster's really come out. Like, that's a powerful monster, man. And he's been holding that, that monster in for how long now? All right, let's get to chapter 1466. Mashiba is remembering what I did to him right now. Um, and, and the more he thinks about it, the hotter his blood boils. Foot stopping, head butting. The champion is a true bad boy, boiling with a white hot rage. How will Mashiba face round five? And this chapter is titled Rough Fight. Do it. Fucking end him. An eye for an eye. If he fights dirty, you just fight even dirtier. Nah, man, you don't get it. Ain't you seen any of Mashiba's fights lately? Whenever he's in a jam or gets fouled, he doesn't get even like that anymore. He's graduated past all that, ain't he? You're the one who doesn't get it. People don't actually change. It's just he hasn't run into that level of evil in too long. That's what we're seeing with this monster here. Someone on the same wavelength, someone just as unforgivable as himself. And when evil meets that same evil, they resonate. Ooh, I like this line resonate just look the air is thick with tension seconds out i feel like it's maybe i feel like it's kind of the same with ippo not an evil um resonate kind of thing but like in terms of like his boxer instincts like when we saw him um when we saw him sparring but I feel like if he sparred with Miata, I think it would be a whole different story. Because then you'd have that resonance. 
happening. But this is a different type of resonance. It's damn near suffocating. Yeah. Well, how's your condition? I'm on cloud nine. I get what he's doing. He's not running. Wait. And that that's, wait. Okay. I get what he's doing. He's not running away. He's just saving up. Next round, he'll take it to a brawl. And that's my turf carbon. Oh, God. I love it. Distorted. Rosario's face is looking. It's giving, I'm telling you, it's giving very Dio. It is. I love it. We managed to stop, we managed to stop the blood, but if he gets hit again, it'll likely reopen. Stay cautious this round. Keep your distance so the cut, ooh. Ooh, and now we got the distortion going on here for, um, for Mashiba. Because remember what was said, that evil, that type of evil resonance. Uh, resonates with each other. Mashiba, round five, bloodshed. This match has taken a turn. Inviting himself to a rough fight. The bad boy, and there to receive it, or to receive him, the Grim Reaper. Oh, that aura. Yes. And yes, I just realized that totally looks like Ghost's face behind him, too, and I love it. Rosario charged him. Oh, that's too direct. Bring your guard up. Woo! Hey, they butted heads. And that, it wasn't on purpose. It just happens against, um, against the southpaw. Ooh. Oh, he stepped on his foot! Okay, now we're getting to 1467. A final chapter of this live reaction here. God, see, this is why I've been doing, like, multi-chapter live reactions for Hajime no Ippo, because these chapters are short. Round five, the bad boy, um... Rosario steps on Mashiba's foot again and again. Where are the fouls, man? His foot, he stepped on it. Um, they're not wrong, but, um, but he looks like a plain uh, old dirty fighter. But he's making sure to throw a legitimate punch whenever he fouls. Yep, plus they could be accidents. No, it's not. And this chapter is titled Mashiba's True Nature. Um, fucking annoying. If I get too close, he headbutts. If I try to get away, he steps on my foot. Fucking, fucking, fucking annoying. Just you wait. As soon as this cut stops bleeding, I'm going to fucking destroy you. Ooh. Ooh! I felt that. It's a hit. He managed to avoid a direct hit, but the champion has the Dali seized control on the, uh, of, um, of this match. That was on purpose. <laughs> Go for it. Kill him, Mashiba. Show us the real you. That's dirty. He's the world champion and he's fouling like and he's fouling like that? He's entirely stolen the pace in one go. This fucker. He we worked so hard. We spent years to make it to this point. And now you're letting him pull this shit. Yes! The monster! Let's go! On uh for fucking giveable the distortion. Everyone, we need to cheer right now. Please, he needs to hear this. Send him your strength. Huh. Ah, he's right. Hang in there. Keep going, Mashiba. 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 Dude, this, dude, you know what this is giving right now? It's the, um, Bakuman, you lose your power. Bakuman, lose your power. Ma Mashiba. 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 And the monster is losing his grip. Yeah! All the cheers! Kind of like the seance with the Bakuman lose your power. It's destroying the darkness. Ooh! The champion presses forward. And there's the cheers of the Mashiba. I needed you to mask my own fears. I needed you to show off to everyone else. I needed you to support myself. I needed you back when I was weak. So thanks for that. But now... Don't show your face anymore. This right here that we're seeing with Mashiba and we saw here with Mashiba and his monster, it's very reminiscent to what we saw, in a way, to what we saw with Bakura and his monster. Because Bakura Bakura's monster was there to protect him, when he, especially when he was lonely. But the difference between Bakura's monster and um, and Mashiba's monster is Bakura's monster was more so his friend than anything else. And he ended up embracing his monster. Here, what Mashiba's done here, 
has basically purified it and overcame it. So that's why I'm like, it's a little different. Now, what I'm hoping we're going to see from this or what Ippo is going to see, you know, gain from this. Remember, Ippo was scared of the monster inside of him and that it's going to take over him. I'm hoping, and this is what I've been hoping um, since we found out that Mashiba was going to be fighting Rosario. Is Zippo's going to be like, okay, if Mashiba can overcome his darkness and overcome his monster like this, I could do it too. But there's also one other thing, though, that Ippo and Mashiba is going to have to do it as well at some point. And we've seen it in Shai too. Shai's the best example of this. Is embracing that darkness, utilizing the power of that darkness to their, t and, you know, applying that strength of their darkness to, or, you know, that monster to enhance their techniques, to enhance their strength. And it's going to have to happen at some point. But the thing is, with those monsters, though, is, and this is the, like Mashiba, and in the sense, it is, I could, you could probably make the argument that this is what Ippo's monster kind of represents. And you know what? I'm going to apply the same thing to, um, uh, to Hinamaru from Hinamaru Zumo. What these monsters, in, an, in a way, represent is their insecurities. Because I'm going to go back to what was said here. I need you to mask my own fears. I needed you to show off to everyone else. I needed you to support myself. I needed you back when I was weak. Remember what happened when Ippo's monster came out. Ippo's monster came out when he kind of felt like he was, when he felt like he needed to, needed it. It was, he was enraged too at the time. So thanks for that. But now don't show your face anymore. That's what he's going to have to do. Ippo's going to have to face it. only thing that is kind of bugging me a little bit and I'm hoping we kind of see it as I'd like a little bit more of the backstory with the monster kind of like again kind of like with what we saw with Bakira in Blue Lock I'd like to see more of the monster. I would love to see a little bit more with the monster. I feel like the pacing with this monster was a little too fast. And I think it's because the chapters were shorter. But what do you guys think about the writing here for Mashiba overcoming his monster pure not just overcoming it but purifying it purifying his insecurities because that's what it, this monster kind of represents is Mashiba's insecurities and you got to wonder if Ippo's monster then if we're going to apply that kind of similar logic represents his insecurities as well I feel like that's I feel like that's part of it I do. I feel like Ippo's monster, part of Ippo's monster, represents his insecurities. Yeah, there's the strength and all that, too. Sure. But there, remember, just remember, at the time, there was the insecurities of, um, of uh, uh, him losing matches, of losing his strength, of, um, of being uh, punch drunk and all that, too. So this will be very, and Hinamaru and Hinamaru Zumo, again, had something very, very similar. And he was hold Ippo was holding a lot of that in, too. 
So that's why I'm like, okay, I could see see where Morikawa's going with this in terms of like a foreshadowing situation. But I'm very curious what you guys think. Where, what do you guys think about Mashiba's monster? Are you let down that we didn't get to see more of it? I, in my, this is my thing. I really would have loved to see Mashiba's monster kind of take control of him a little bit. Like, lose himself to the monster for a minute. And then, and he kind of was, but, like, I would have liked to have seen him, like, completely lose himself to the monster for a little bit longer. And then have that, um, mom and then have the crowd bring him back. Like, I, that, the end result, I'm fine. Let me rework, let me rephrase this. The end result, I'm totally fine with. I'm not having a problem with it. It's just, it's just the journey to get there is where I'm having a little bit of an issue with. I would have just liked to see Mashiba be like completely consumed by the monster for a little bit longer. Again, kind of like what we saw in Hinamaru Zumo a little bit. I think if we would have had that, I think this would have worked a little bit better. Um, and again, I, as I said, I think the low page count really hurt it. At least in my opinion. But what do you guys think about this? Do you guys think that the low page count kind of hurt this? Did you guys want to see um, Mashiba like lose control to the monster? Because I feel like not seeing that kind of, again, kind of hurt this a little bit. Especially with Ippo's reaction to it. And do you think that this is kind of, this is foreshadowing what we're going to see in terms of Ippo's intervention with his own monster? Which is a good chunk of it is representing his own insecurities, let's be real. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section below what you guys think. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdigans Inc. Love what we're doing. I want to help keep this month, um, <laughs> this operation alive and kicking so we can keep bringing you more Hachimino Whippo content. You wish you can do that. Donate to our cash at PayPal, Patreon, purchase something off our Amazon wish list. All that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow us on Twitter, Twitch, Discord, friend us on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Until next time, Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later. Bye.